is going on my fellow stackers it's your boy ag stacking and i'm here to do another video this video is about the sigma precious metal fire um a lot of people want one a lot of people have one and some don't know how to use it some of us don't read the manuals um and uh these machines are pretty pricey there's about 700 dollars, so people that want them can't afford them um or they'll rather put that money into precious metals but it's a good tool to have it's not 100 percent accurate um but I found out through a guy named, I think his name was Mike. Um, he sells these and, and he, I, I ran into a fake uh, round and he showed me another way of using this thing. Um, it's a little more accurate. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, what's called a measurement mode um, instead of just your regular, uh, you know, the, how you, you see everybody using it. So I'm about to get in it, bring the camera closer so you can see what it is that I do and how I compare metals um, using this and to make sure that it tests uh, correctly as gold, silver, platinum, whatever metal I'm testing on here. Uh, so let's get a little closer look and let's get do it. All right, so here's a closer look at the Sigma, uh, the Sigma Precious Metal Verifier. It seems about 700 bucks with the wands. Uh, this is a small wand, which is used uh, by most people. Um, how they usually use it, they hit power. Uh, we got a one ounce gold, one ounce uh, platinum, one ounce, a ten ounce bar, and a one ounce round. So they hit power, hit run. Then you have the options to select what you want, and if you want to use the wand or the actual device, we're going to use the device. We're going to get hit run, run for gold, and when it's ready, you put it in the middle. If it places within the brackets, it's real. Uh, we're going to try silver. We're going to hit run, and three nines fine. And then if it places between the brackets, it's real. 10 ounce bar, one ounce round, right in the center. Okay, now we're gonna try the platinum. We're gonna hit run. It's right in the bars, it's real. But the one way is, the best The best way I think is to use what's called measurement mode, which measures uh, the magnetic resistivity and conductivity of the metals. So the way you get there is you hit you hold sensor select and you press power, but you continue to hold sensor select. Hold that down. It's going to get you here. Hit the run calibrate. It's going to give you measurement mode. Measurement mode will measure in, in just numbers. So you take your one ounce bar, gold bar, put it here. 2.16 is what it needs to be at. Um, that's what it, 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 it should be around that range. Um, if you take, you know, a, a smaller gold piece, um, it should be, again, around that range. You could take this and, and use your wand and and see it gives it, the wand gives you the actual, a little more accurate and closer to the actual uh, gold uh, one ounce. Um, it's a lot harder to for it to calibrate such a small piece on there. And, and you don't want to hold it too much because if you warm it up, or you cool it, it changes the the, the number. Um, so that's the best way I see. Like if you, most people that are testing it have silver, have gold on hand. So always keep a piece that you know is real, that maybe has been x-rayed. Um, and I, I, com I would compare the number that you get here, which is around, you know, 216 to 2, 219. And use that piece to compare it to any other piece you get. Uh, you got stuff like that. Here's a one tenth, you know, two eleven. As, as long as it's within like ten, what I've noticed is when it, with, the, with ten, you know, the numbers between nine or ten of, of a difference of the decimal, then you're fine. Here's silver. Silver is usually um, around one point six zero to like one point seven one, one point seven two. Here's one with the capsule. I don't know if it'll read through. No, it's not reading. So if we take it out and we check. 1.61 so that's kind of how you get to use this at, you know a lot better is you put this on here your platinum is measuring around nine you want to get it as flat as you can um you know it's a lot harder with these because it has a big big gap um but you know it, it's kind of said it, it's a lot harder to test these you know it's better when they're loose there's just too much of a, of a gap in it. Um, but 
always, like I said, if you have an authentic piece, just test it through that and get your, your measurement number, the value, and compare it to what it is you're testing. Um, you know, you have a 50 gram bar here. You know, it's gonna be a little higher because of the, the thick plastic. Um, but this is just the way I, I measure um, a lot of my gold and, and, and my, my silver, same thing with my platinum. I, I use this a, a lot more, um, because it, it's, it gives you actual value. If you have, uh, something that is fake, it's going to give you a different number if it's brass, um, or even if it's like sterling, it, it'll, it'll pull up something else. Like on, let's say this jewelry piece, you know, it goes a lot higher than what it should be on silver and it's sterling. Um, but this is the way I I use the Sigma in the measurement mode. Again, you hold sensor select and then you hit power while you're still holding sensor select and it'll give you this here. Hit remove sample and you get to the measurement mode. That's the best way I've been able to test my my metals and I've made holes in them and and drilled through stuff that I that didn't test right and it was brass or copper or something else. But hope this helps. Um Sorry for all the sweat, but it's a little hot in here. But hopefully that, that teaches some of you guys how to use this machine, and, and, and hopefully it prevents you from getting any fakes. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. The reason why I, I really like to use the measurement mode is because this is in regular mode. We're going to test silver. We're going to go three nines fine. Okay. Again, silver round right in the middle. This is real silver. Copper round. Okay, you can tell it's copper. Color is copper. Put it right in the center. Real silver. See that? Okay. Now you hit sense select, power it on. Hit run. Measurement mode. 1.61. One point six seven. You know, too high, too high. Um, you can get some uh some other rounds that'll test a little higher. Um, but you can just by rubbing it, you can tell, and that's just that's why reason why I like it because you can't really get fooled.